Had you known that the jobs report was going to be as strong, <laughs> would you have done 25 basis points or something different? David, thank you for that question, and thank you, <clears throat> <laughs> thank you for inviting me here today. It's great to be here. Uh, so we don't get to play it that way, unfortunately. We have to, uh, but I'll, so I'll, I'll take it this way. <clears throat> uh, so the message we were sending at the FOMC meeting last Wednesday was really that um, the disinflationary process, the process of getting inflation down, has begun, and it's begun in the goods sector, which is uh, about a quarter of our economy. But it has a long way to go. These are the very early stages of disinflation. So the services sector really, except for housing services, <clears throat> pardon me, uh, is not really showing any, any disinflation yet. So our message really was this process is likely to take quite a bit of time. Uh, it's not going to be, uh, we don't think, smooth. It's probably going to be bumpy. And so we think that we're going to need to do further rate increases, as we said, and we, we think that we'll need to hold policy at a restrictive level for a period of time. Then comes the, uh, the, the uh, labor market report for January. And it's very strong. It's certainly stronger than anyone I know expected. <clears throat> and so, but, but I would say, we didn't expect it to be this strong, but I would say it, it kind of shows you why we think that this will be a, a, a process that takes a significant period of time. It, the, the labor market's extraordinarily strong. And by the way, it's good. It's a good thing that inflation has started to come down without, it, that has not happened at the, at the cost of a strong labor market. So, and of course, since then, labor market, sorry, financial conditions have tightened significantly since then. So let me ask it another way. Um, <laughs> so by the way, when the, when the numbers are coming out, the jobs numbers, 519,000 jobs, does anybody call you up in the government and give you a little heads up, this is going to happen, or they never do that? So on, on some uh, data, sometimes we get data just the night before, and it's only me, only me. And uh, so, but not on all pieces of data. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a very small amount of data, and we get it just, just the night before. For example, if we, if we were going to get a big piece of data in the middle of an FOMC meeting, as often happens on the day of an FOMC meeting, it will help me to, to know it the night before. Okay, so the markets, um, after your speech last week, the markets assumed that, therefore, there would probably be another 25 basis point increase in your next FOMC meeting. Um, was that a bad assumption by the markets? So, what, again, what we said at the meeting was... <laughs> was that uh, we, we believe that we anticipate, is what we said, that uh, ongoing rate increases will be appropriate. Uh, and the reason is we're trying to achieve a stance of policy that is sufficiently restrictive to bring inflation down to 2% over time. And we don't think we've achieved that yet. So we said that, uh, and, I, and you know, now you see the labor market report, and I think, again, financial conditions are, are, are more well aligned with that than they were before. So the assumption, when you made your speech was that probably the Fed might even consider uh, decreasing rates by the end of this year, and the markets no longer assume that. Do you think the markets are wrong? Well, uh, so let me say, these are, um, all of these numbers that we're throwing around here are conditional on incoming data and what happens. So we never say this is, this is what we think will happen. We, you know, we, we make a tentative forecast and then we let the data come in. For example, if the data were to continue to come in stronger than we expect, and we were to conclude that we needed to raise rates more than is priced into the markets or than we wrote down at our last group of forecasts in December, then we would certainly do that. We would certainly raise rates more.